Question 1. Explain what is embedded system in a computer system. Answer. An embedded system is a computer system that is part of a larger system or machine. It is a system with a dedicated function within a larger electrical or mechanical system. Question 2. Mention what are the essential components of embedded system. Answer. Essential components of embedded system includes hardware processor memory timers I slash O circuit system application specific circuit software. It ensures the availability of system memory. It checks the processor speed availability the need to limit power lost when running the system continuously real-time operating system it runs a process as per scheduling and do the switching from one process to another question 3 why embedded system is useful answer with embedded system it is possible to replace dozens or even more of hardware logic gates input buffers timing circuits output drivers etc with a relatively cheap microprocessor Question 4. Explain what are real-time embedded systems. Answer. Real-time embedded systems are computer systems that monitor, respond or control an external environment. This environment is connected to the computer system through actuators, sensors and other input-output interfaces. Question 5. Explain what is microcontroller. Answer. The microcontroller is a self-contained system with peripherals, memory and a processor that can be used as embedded system. Question 6. Mention what is the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Answer. Microprocessor is managers of the resources I.O. memory which lie outside of its architecture. Microcontroller have I.O. memory etc. built into it and specifically designed for control. Question 7. What does DMA address will deal with? Answer. DMA address deals with physical addresses. It is a device which directly drives the data and address bus during data transfer. So, it is purely physical address. Question 8. Explain what is interrupt latency. How can you reduce it? Answer. Interrupt latency is a time taken to return from the interrupt service routine post handling a specific interrupt by writing minor ISR routines. Interrupt latency can be reduced. Question 9. Mention what are buses used for communication in embedded system. Answer. For embedded system, the buses used for communication includes I2C. It is used for communication between multiple ICs. Can. It is used in automobiles with centrally controlled network. USB. It is used for communication between CPU and devices like mouse, etc. While ESHA, SR, PCI are standard buses for parallel communication used in PCs, computer network devices, etc. Question 10. List out various uses of timers in embedded system. Answer. Timers in embedded system are used in multiple ways. Real-time clock RTC for the system initiating an event after a preset time delay, initiating an even after a comparison of preset times, capturing the count value in timer on an event between two events, finding the time interval, time slicing for various tasks, time division multiplexing, scheduling of various tasks in twos. Question 11. Explain what is a watchdog timer. Answer. A watchdog timer is an electronic device or electronic card that executes specific operation after certain time period if something goes wrong with an electronic system. Question 12. Explain what is the need for an infinite loop in embedded systems. Answer. Embedded systems require infinite loops for repeatedly processing or monitoring the state of the program. For instance, the case of a program state continuously being verified for any exceptional errors that might just happen during runtime such as memory outage or divide by zero, etc. Question 13. List out some of the commonly found errors in embedded systems. Answer. Some of the commonly found errors in embedded systems are damage of memory devices, static discharges and transient current, address line malfunctioning due to a short in circuit, data lines malfunctioning due to garbage or errors, some memory locations being inaccessible in storage, inappropriate insertion of memory devices into the memory slots, wrong control signals. Question 14. Explain what is semaphore. Answer. A semaphore is an abstract data type or variable that is used for controlling access by multiple processes to a common resource in a concurrent system such as multi-programming operating system. Semaphores are commonly used for two purposes, to share a common memory space, to share access to files. Question 15. When one must use recursion function, mention what happens when recursion functions are declared in line. Answer. Recursion function can be used when you are aware of the number of recursive calls is not excessive. Inline functions property says whenever it will call, it will copy the complete definition of that function. Recursive function declared as inline creates the burden on the compiler's execution.